This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Draman and we're going to be counting down the top 5 sneakers worn all across the NBA this past week. This list will only include player exclusives, custom colorways, and Nike IDs because if we just start putting general release colorways on this list, well, that wouldn't make much sense. So now that you got it, let's go get it. Starting off the list at number 5, we have Carl Anthony Towns with this PE of the Nike Hyperdunk 2017. Let's be honest, this year's Hyperdunk was a disappointment. Actually, let's rephrase that. The React Foam in this year's Hyperdunk was a disappointment. As for this Hyperdunk, visually, I'm actually really digging this colorway. I know that shade of green might be an acquired taste for some, but I'm really liking it, especially when it's put up against that gradient fade midsole, which goes from a super light gray to an extremely nice shade of blue. Plus you're adding speckles on top of all of that and everything is rounded out by a slightly milky translucent outsole. This colorway absolutely brings it with the aesthetics and you could actually get a little look at Kat's logo on the tongue. I can't really tell what it is exactly from this point of view, but I think it's a pretty nice looking logo. I'm not too sure, it's gotta grow on me. But now that Kat's got these great looking sneakers, all the Timberwolves need to do now is Play a little defense, am I right? Coming in at number four, we have Jimmy Butler's PE of the Air Jordan 32 Low. Now the Air Jordan 32 is one of my favorite sneakers of the year so far. They took a really long time to break in, but once they did break in, everything was absolutely fantastic. And if I had this colorway of the 32 Lows, they would definitely be a go-to for me. You guys should already know that I absolutely love gray, especially on sneakers. I think it's a great mid-tone that brings the best out of the other colors that are featured with it. Even black, like this sneaker does. So gray and black, it's simple, it's clean. I know this might be an upset on this list, but you guys gotta let me know what you think about these in the comment section below. Next on the list, we have Lonzo Ball with this new colorway of the ZO2 Prime. Now, Lonzo actually wore these during his very highly anticipated game in Sacramento against De'Aaron Fox. And I was actually at that game at the Golden 1 Arena in full Laker gear, getting heckled left and right. I absolutely loved every second of it. The Kings fans, they were all good. It wasn't too bad. They were really nice. They were actually very gracious. And they got themselves a really nice arena out there in downtown Sac. If you're ever in town, you gotta go check it out. The Golden One Arena is absolutely fantastic. But all of that aside, these sneakers are beautiful in my opinion. Obviously you have the white base, but you also have that carbon fiber heel cup in black, which blocks that white perfectly. Then you got hits of Laker purple and gold and that textured midsole. I mean, how much better can it get? Everything about the ZO2 Primes is actually pretty prime, except that price. It's gotta go lower, right? I mean, it's just, it's not worth it. Is it? Next on the list at number two, we have this PE of the Nike PG1. I mean, come on guys, the PG1 is one of the best sneakers of the year, of the past five years, maybe even 10 years. The price, the performance, the visuals, all of that get absolutely knocked out of the park with the PG1. And ever since he went to Oklahoma City, the PEs have been absolutely fire. And this one is no exception. You got the gray upper, which I talked about earlier, really accentuates other colors that are featured with it, like the bright orange on the swoosh and the light blue on the outsole. I mean, come on, this colorway is absolutely beautiful. The only thing going against it is we will probably never ever see it on retail shelves. But in my opinion, Nike should probably reconsider that strategy because I think people would cop this sneaker. I would. Would you? Finally, at number one, we have the Nike Kyrie 3 in the Fear colorway. Now, I don't know what got into Nike, but ever since Kyrie has left Cleveland for Boston, I mean, don't get me wrong, he has some nice sneakers in Cleveland, no doubt, but ever since he's arrived in Boston, the colorways have been absolutely bananas, especially this one. I mean, just look at them. Black upper, fierce. You got the white swoosh to color block that black upper. Amazing. You have a perfect shade of light green. And that design on both the lateral and medial side, I mean, look at it. What is that design? It looks like a very scary forest that I would never, ever, ever enter in my entire life. This colorway is awesome. I love them. Let me know what you think about them as well as my list in the comment section below. Be sure to leave your list as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel for more great content just like this. My name is Jaren. It's been great having you. I'll catch you next week. Peace. Coming in at number four, we have Damian Lillard's logo with Adidas. Now, Damian Lillard is probably my favorite player in the league right now because he's a great player, don't get me wrong, but his loyalty to his city of Oakland 
is absolutely awesome. And like I said earlier, I can always get down with loyalty.